And Tori, I want to start with the words of Representative Jones here. Here's how he is framing the battle over political power. They're afraid of the generational shift coming to America, the reckoning that, that our generation says that we don't have to wait for some other time, but there comes a time which time itself is ready for a change. That time has come for Tennessee and for America. And so my message is to the young people that, that we must continue to step into our power to hold these forces of white supremacy and patriarchy accountable and let us build a new South and in so doing, build a new nation. Um, because they say the South will rise again. I want to say the South will rise anew. South will rise anew. I was so struck by that line, Tori, and part of the reason I wanted to talk to you and Andrea is because you are doing this organizing in the South. What is that change going to require? What is all the work you are doing, the research you are doing, tell you about what that's going to look like? You know, demographics are a condition and an opportunity, not a strategy in and of itself. What the GOP is doing by using old, stale playbooks. I mean, the idea of using race as a tool to divide us was written in a 1968 Southern Strategy playbook. And we are not in 1968 anymore. Today, at least 80% of Americans want kids to get to read books that tell the truth about our history. Everything they rely upon is losing right now in this culture war. And what's happening is it gives us an opportunity to forge a, a new coalition of new voters. We know every day there are, you know, a thousand Texans being born into the electorate. We know every day that um, there have always been concentrations of people of color in the South. But when you have have these opportunities to pull together new young voters with moderate voters and traditional voters who are rejecting MAGA extremism, that's how we win in the South. And then frankly, it's every Democrat's duty to do it. It will take a few cycles to work in Texas and Florida. It is going to take work to keep Georgia and Arizona and take North Carolina in 2024. But when we do so, when we forge these coalitions between new voters and moderate voters, it will really clap back and reject against this extremism that is so out of step with Americans today. Andrea, I, I wanted to talk to you because you're watching this play out in your home state right now, right? You with six week ban, an abortion signed by Governor Ron DeSantis. You've got uh, efforts for a constitutional carry in your state. You have new legislation that makes it a crime to harbor a migrant in your state. I mean, pick, pick your issue. It is wildly out of step with where most voters are. That's absolutely true. And we can't afford to underestimate Ron DeSantis the way that we underestimated Donald Trump in 2016. I think Florida voting rights, immigrant rights, LGBTQ activists, teachers, unions, students, we all deeply understand the existential threat that Ronald DeSantis poses to the promise of democracy. Um, and that's why, inspired by Moral Mondays, we've been working with organizations and um, movements to hold Wake Up Wednesdays every Wednesday. Wednesday for the last seven weeks, there have been um, actions across the state. Um, and every week there are more student walkouts and marches and protests. And, you know, people who are saying that Ronald DeSantis, DeSantis, who is pursuing his presidential ambitions, is deeply out of touch with the majority of Floridians. You know, here in Florida, we passed gay marriage before it was the law of the land. We we passed Amendment Four, giving the vote to right to vote back to returning citizens and the first fifteen dollar minimum wage in the South. But our state legislature is being held hostage by the extreme right. Um, and, you know, every day more and more people are, are waking up to what that means for themselves, for their families, for their communities. Um, and they want to pull us back in history, but we're, we're not going back. And we're seeing a cultural and political uprising.